so Gather um, is a dog. Ian is a, a kid who has got his heart set on adopting this dog. So that's the context. <laughs> so I'm standing there trying to suck it up when he comes around the corner with an apple in his mouth. I guess I might have got a little choked up. I don't know where you came from, but I sure do hope you stay, I told him. I thought I'd name him Hunter at first, since he knew how to take care of himself. But since he was, e since he was eating mostly vegetables, he found on his own, well, that's how I came to name him Gather. So something I have to say is about the word gather. It means a lot of things, like gathering food, gathering your thoughts. When somebody who listens, somebody like the Sharp, when she asks you what it's like to grow, the, grow up the way you're growing up, you gather together all these parts of your life and all these stories of things from way before. Things that get mixed up with what's happening right then. Those stories don't come out like a goddamn timeline. They come out like compost. All the leaves, the coffee grounds, fireplace ashes, apple cores, tea bags, onion skins, eggshells, corn husks, potato peels, everything that turned to dirt at one time or another, doesn't matter when. It belongs with whatever you've got growing out of it right there in front of you. Doesn't matter either if you're talking about sugar snap peas, tomatoes, pumpkins, or weeds. You can't go pulling all the dirt away from the roots, trying to put it into some kind of order so you can understand it your way. You kill it if you do that. Stories we tell come out like the way you walk the woods if you want to know it. Zigzagging, doubling back, maybe tripling. Sometimes enough to find out that the parts you know the least about are the parts closest to home. You don't just make some frigging beeline to some hill like you're trying to get your steps in. I just don't understand people like that. I don't think they're from around here. But I feel like you need to understand this. Our stories from around here come out like the way we keep our work shed. You go in there, see what you have lying around, some of it being old as hell. Some of it being stuff you might have even had the money to buy for yourself. You move something, you find something else. You brush it off a little, then you use it or you set it back down. But you need it all to piece together how things come to be the way they are now, how you come to be who you are. And then when things go to hell in your own life, the word gather means something else all over again. Because there's a lot of good people, some who you know, some who you only just met. And the ones who matter, they listen. They gather on your side, and at least they try to help you, even if it might not work out. I know that for a fact. All that being said, I am definitely getting ahead of myself here. Right then, I was just goddamn glad to have that dog. <laughs>